Something cool that you can do, you end up moving here, please don't move here. But, <laughs> I don't like my way, but I like black eyed peas. Fire on the mountain. Your presence has to be sweeter than my solitude. What's your purpose? Next! Some what? Toss me some breeze. Y'all, we gonna take an interview. Gotta eat. <laughs> I don't wanna end this um, journey that I'm on before it even starts. It's giving Jim Crow. Oh. Breaking <laughs> Who is Beauty on the Glass? I'm out of breath. Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Yudi, and I go by Yudi on the Glow here and on my other social media platforms. And today, I feel like I'm getting to a long-awaited video. So I've been putting out videos, and I really appreciate everyone's support, and I thought I would share a little bit more about myself. So this video is just to get to know me. It's gonna be a real chill, relaxed chit chat. So it's gonna be lots of fun. I have with me a charcuterie. We made a charcuterie board. <laughs> I don't want it to fall, but it's really pretty. R.I.P. Um, and then also I have my best friend here. She hooked us up with drinks. Um, friend, what are we drinking today? We are this. drinking a New York sour. It's like a typical whiskey sour, but you have a float of a dry red wine on top. What are you drinking? I am drinking a twist on the French 75. Um, instead, I have added a uh, Saint Germain or the elderflower liqueur to it, which we can call this a French 77 now. I don't know nothing about that. All right, so let's hop right in. So that's the first question. So what does Beauty on the Glow mean? So the whole idea behind Beauty on the Glow, I came up with it like some years ago. There's a time where my handle didn't have my name in it. So I think I took pictures and the person didn't know where to tag me. So I think it was something new that has my name in it and it's still kind of catchy. So I decided to go with UD on the glow. The idea of glow is that I'm on the go because I do love traveling. I haven't been traveling in a while. I've been grounded. But then also like growing up, developing, maturing, like glow up. And then the cool thing about it too, was it you? Someone asked me and they're like, does glow stand for global? And I'm like, I messed with that too. Glowing up, developing, growing, being global. All of the above, so that's beauty on the glow. So, what can your viewers expect to see you on your channel? Don't you send up straight? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be pretty proper, girl. <laughs> I do plan on sharing with you guys my ideas and some of my inspirations when it comes to fashion. Also, want to share with you guys like my home journey, where you guys more videos on just the process. And when I get to that point of like vlogging more, I do want to take you guys on the journey with my travels. But for the most part, I just want to share bits and pieces that I know so that we can help each other, inspire each other. And often whenever I'm talking to friends and family, and sometimes they're having the same conversations, whether it be on like fashion or decor. And I don't mind that, but I thought it'd be cool to just have somewhere where I have everything housed. So it's like, I'm not talking someone to death for like 20 minutes. I can just be like, okay, I have a video for that. So kind of just sharing my ideas on like a larger scale. And also kind of like along the way of like just adulting in general, I've had to figure a lot of things out. Like I've been like the peer amongst my friend group or just the guinea pig. So I do want to share with you guys like more videos on paying off your car, building your credit score, buying a house, like financial literacy. So do expect those to come soon. And I'm also interested in medicine and public health. So I'll try and sneak some videos in here and there, but I think in the long run, I would love maybe in the future to have a channel dedicated to that later on. Who knows, we'll see. So let's get into who you are, Beauty on the Glow. So you're definitely one of my most stylish, well-rounded friends. It's like beauty and brains all together. You talked about your medical side, your public health side, but then you also have your stylish side. Tell us how you get into fashion and styling. So as far as fashion goes, I would say a lot of my inspiration for fashion came from like the movies I watched growing up. Like we didn't have cable, so I was like watching TBS, PBS, like I was watching a lot of like 80s, 90s movies. So you guys can kind of see like in my style, like I do tend to favor like vintage and clean lines here and there, like retro looks. Then I can also say like my mom was a big inspiration. I didn't know like my mom was like super extra because I just grew up with her. And so I just started talking to more people. So definitely my mom. And another thing about it is like I came from humble beginnings. So I had to be creative with what I had. So we made stuff work. So when it comes to decor, it's one of those things that kind of overlaps with fashion, like when you're thinking about color palettes and what goes with what proportions and balance. So I think that was like an easy, like kind of bridge over for me. And then the other thing is I'm constantly seeing things like on social media. So I got to the point if I saw something I liked that was aesthetically pleasing, I would just put it in a pin board and come back to it later. And I just started building up pin boards. So I have like literally a pin board for everything. Like, if you guys can't see it, the board is probably private. So yeah, did I answer that? Mm -hmm. You definitely have the eye, so you know, we're excited to see more videos so you can help share the eye with the rest of the world. Um, okay, 
So, you know, the people want to know, what's the relationship status looking like? You single? You take you so What's bad. going on? <laughs> I'm going to be a background interviewer. Yeah. Should I be like, regular? Should I be regular? Relationship, no, single like, or take it? I, I kind of want the regular, the, your regular voice, but I'll take it. Like, I feel like I need to put you on payroll. <laughs> Um, this is my, this is my um, voice debut, girl. I cannot. It's a lie. It's a lie. Um, oh, I'm definitely single. When I tell you, dating in Atlanta is so ghetto. Like, the water is yellow. Like, there's pee in the pool. I feel like, I already know I can make a whole video. I can make a whole video about dating Atlanta. I'm waiting on it because I have some things that I want to get in line, like, for my career and, like, my future. So once I kind of get some of those things started, I'll probably find a way to like make a more PG video. I feel like if I were to talk about it, my language would be very colorful. <laughs> I'm gonna think of a way to like dull it down a little bit so it's not too extreme, but one day, one day I'll give you guys a video. But I'm very single, because I feel like a lot of people are out here are like very fertile. They're very fertile. And I think a lot of men want to be chased. Should I say more? And I think that's the other thing. like. If you've ever had, if you ever had someone pursue you, like truly pursue you, or just trying to make their way out of the friend zone, like the way, the way people be calling you every morning, make sure you're good, call you when they care and they want to get to know you, or they think they might get something out of the way, they will call you like, have you eaten? Should I, should I Uber eat you? The way people like put in the work, the effort, like I've had people stumbling over their feet to open the door for me. So if I have that from platonic relationships, from my own family members, why would I settle for anything less? So also I'm not easily impressed, but ugh, preach. We're just gonna bring it all the way back down. Um, very single until I find someone who meets. I'm very single right now, but like low key, I feel like the person I want, low, low key, I feel like the person I want doesn't exist. They might, I just don't know who they are. But I also think like the person I want probably isn't on dating apps too, so. Who knows but whenever my person finds me finds me because i feel like that's not something you force or rush into i saw this quote where someone was like your presence has to be sweeter than my solitude and the thing about it if i've worked up to build my own peace i have just tranquility and you show up and there's chaos why are you here like what is your purpose okay that's enough on this question that's enough next <laughs> so would you describe yourself as an introvert or an extrovert introvert why I'm an introvert. And I think that's the thing. When people meet me when my social battery's up here, or I'm like networking, or like very like tunnel vision in the moment, I think people think I'm an extrovert, but I'm an introvert. Unless it's like something I know or like super like geeky about at the moment, after I finish talking about that, I will sit in silence. And sometimes I'll be worried about it because like I'll be in public or like we'll be in a club and I'll be in there like this. Co-signed. <laughs> <laughs> With RBF, but it's like, it's like I'm I'm very introverted, but I think sometimes people don't realize that. What do you think? I agree. I think you're definitely a very extroverted introvert. And because I'm like tired. you're my best friend, I'd be like you on 10 all the time. But then that's just cause you know me. And you just be on 10. <laughs> <laughs> so I be looking with me at other people. I said, Why should not on 10 no more? I'm it's the tired. introvert. The introvert has kicked in. Sorry, I'll be ready to take a nap. Mm -hmm. I feel that girl. I feel that one. So, what do you like to do in your free time then? Eat grapes. <laughs> what type of grapes specifically? I like the red grapes. When I was younger, I only like the green ones. Mm. The crispy ones though, right? Mm, mm, mm. I don't know if this is the best idea. But this is good, so I wanna, hold on. Be um, um, toss me some brie, girl. Some what? Toss me some brie. Y'all, we gonna take an interaction. We gotta, we gotta eat. <laughs> it's a lot, you know, being the moderator. Thank you. You don't want no crackers? Oh, yes, girl. You know, I want some crackers. Thank you. Oh, the God. I need it. Mmm. <laughs> Lovely. God. It's that event fruit. Uh huh. When two or three are like gathered. <laughs> I was expecting it to be that good. The food be slopping. Girl, stack the brie in the cracker with the smoked cheddar. You get a creamy, cheddary, smoky, you know, salty. I would a little bit more smoky, but it's okay. You don't look like you approve. <laughs> I feel like, you know, you tell she's supposed to look the person in the eye. So I'm trying to hold. <laughs> you know, it's too smoky though. What? 
Have you ever had like smoked cheese and smoked salmon together? Oh, too much. Too much. So what do you like doing in your free time? Um, I like trying new restaurants. So the person behind the camera is my partner in crime for trying new restaurants. I'm either eating out with you or my cousin Liz. Shout out to Liz. Um, what else do I do in my free time? I like trying new things. Um, I like trying new things like hands-on things. Like I would love to do like a pottery class. Lucky for my birthday, I want to do um, the indoor skydiving. I am not a club person, so when my social media runs out, I'll be in the club just like. <laughs> I'm in the club like this. I can't. <laughs> um, so yeah, I do like um, trying new restaurants, trying new activities, that sort of thing. Okay, what's your favorite activity or restaurant you tried in Atlanta? Hmm, I haven't been out in a while. Where have we gone? Okay. I will say today I went to, what is it called? What's that place called in Midtown? Midtown. Was Midtown it called the Reserve? Urban, right? The Reserve. Oh, I didn't go there. The whiskey place? No, no, it's different. When I think of it, I'm gonna insert the picture. This is talking about food places. What food do we like? Um, I mean, shout out to the brisket at Two Urban Licks, RIP. I'm like, can I even say I really like it? Because I only like the brisket there. Oh, that's what I said, just the brisket. Because the day we went and they didn't have brisket, I don't like nothing yeah. on that menu. Yeah. That's but it. Two Urban Licks is good. If you guys are anywhere by the Beltline, go there, but get the brisket. Only go for the brisket. The rest, I cannot vouch for. And the turkey wings, if they got it. Oh, yeah, the turkey wings. Those are good. We haven't been anywhere in a while. Yeah, we haven't. No, like, new places. I thought we had good food. I just can't think of any yeah, right now. Either. That's, like, amazing. That's, like, oh, my God. You talking about activities that you've enjoyed? I haven't done anything recently. Mm, vineyards, North Georgia vineyards. Oh yeah, that was okay. That was a lot of fun. Mm. So something cool that you can do, like if you're in Georgia or you end up moving here, please don't move here. But <laughs> was expected, <that. laughs> but for real. <laughs> Have you even seen that video of the lady who um, talks about like why Atlanta traffic is the way it is? We need to do Segway tours. The Segway tours were so nice as far as like Atlanta history and all that trivia stuff I love. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, but basically if you're ever in Georgia, um, you can go to North Georgia like Blue Ridge and rent out like a cabin or do a wine tour. There's a lot of like wine vineyards up there. Love them all. Well, I, I, I love the one we went to. I don't remember the name. If I find the name, I'm gonna put it in. There's also Chateau Elan. Is that what it's called? Shadow Elon? Mm -hmm. And it, it's, a, it's a little trek. It's kind of out there. I would say it's very pretty. Nice gowns. Beautiful gowns, beautiful gowns. Beautiful gowns. Where Terry read the Franklin. <laughs> beautiful gowns. Um, I would say like I'm a little I'm a little biased because my first wine tours were in South Africa. It's like known for their wine veneer. So like that's the kind of treatment I had. Um, so when I went to Chateau Elon, I was expecting a little bit more. But I think it's still worth going. It's very beautiful. A lot of people get like their engagement pictures and stuff there. What was the question? Your favorite, one of your favorite <clears> things <throat> you've done in Atlanta. I feel like I need to get out and do more. I haven't been out in a while. I have a list of things. We'll tackle them soon. We'll talk. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Discussion me. That was a very Uni on the Glow answer though. You what? know, South Africa is where the best vineyards are. Please. Georgia, ugh. No, that's, no, but that's my thing. <laughs> like it's not even trying to be that way, <laughs> but it's like certain things I've experienced. Like for instance, I've experienced certain like cuisines in the country, so I know when like it's half-assed. Beauty on the glow. Exactly. Right. <laughs> well, well, claim your name. I really wanted to do the VR that she did, but they don't have it anymore. I know. And I don't think there's any like equivalent in the perimeter. I did see a similar one actually. I think um the loop has one. The who? The loop? The loop? We ain't driving there, girl. Um, okay, we're getting juicy here. When last did you embarrass yourself? I have to think through like a good one. Hmm. That's a very intimate question. I would say, I can't think of an exact right now, but if it comes to me, I'm gonna say it. For me, sometimes I feel like I overshare. It would legit be like months later, I'm like, dang, why did I say all that? Like, dang. So that's also like why I want like YouTube to be like my outlet for other things. Like if I meet people and they ask me like a fashion question, if it's something that I'm, I'm currently crazy about in the moment, I don't wanna talk to them. I can just say one, two, and three and be like, yeah, I have a video. Because you're such a confident person, embarrassment, like, threshold is a lot higher than normal people. <laughs> you stare like that. <laughs> I feel like I'd be getting embarrassed and I'd be like, okay, and? You would come to a guy and be like, so what? What are we doing? 
<laughs> what's going on. There's no like me embarrassed about at all ever, and I love that. I love that the confidence level it brings your threshold up. So what is embarrassment to you? I, don't, I gotta think about this. Like when last was I embarrassed? Yeah, I don't. I don't think that's in your spirit. I don't it think is. it's in your brand. I've done some stuff to embarrass myself. Really? See, that would be nice for me. The, the one thing I can think about is high school, and I don't want to go back that far. Nah, that's too far. Deb knows about but that. But if that's the last time you embarrassed yourself, like, did I have like clothes rip while I was out? Oh, that happened. Mm -hmm. I don't think you'd be embarrassed though. What was your last embarrassing moment? Oh God. <laughs> My last embarrassment moment. It might have been like a New Year. I'm trying to think. I'm gonna have to come back to that. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's Next question. Mm -hmm. Um, any life regrets? Hmm. Okay, so I personally, I try to live without regrets. So for the most part, I don't really regret much. Um, I, the one thing I do regret. So. If you've ever had to like move and you're just like in this moving mindset you just, and you just get to the point where you're like you just want to get rid of everything the one thing i regret the most i gave away a family trinket box i don't know why i wasn't in my right mind but i gave it away and i don't know i took all the jewelry out of it and i don't know why and i just gave it away to like goodwill or or like some thrift store so if you're in the atlanta area if you ever come across like a heavy duty dusty blue chill i'm dead why are you laughing i'm so serious this is a family heirloom <laughs> you got a psa on the <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> i'm so serious though like i've been thinking about that box like if you ever come across like a very heavy duty like trinket box it's like a decent size it's a dusty teal color and it has like these um the front of, i remember the front had like this silver metal on it with like lines and you like twist it down when you open it it's like a cream and gold scarf print and then like on the top there's like this blue same matching blue compartment and then it has like underneath basically it has all of that more than likely i gave it away at a goodwill or thrift store inside the perimeter but if you come across it like i ain't got it like that but i really like to have it back other thing i gave away Again, I wasn't in my right mind, but we had like a typewriter and I think it was in perfectly good condition. It was like one that like collapses. So like it had a handle and everything. I don't even know what brand it was. But yeah, if you guys come across the blue trinket box, remember me. I'm dead ass, I'm laughing. I'm so serious. I've been thinking about that box a lot. You need to add that video. Boop, boop. I was in that Jerry video. Pew, 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 pew. What? <laughs> <laughs> so speaking of moving you know you have relatively recently i mean it's been a minute now but relatively recently you know got a home mm -hmm. in lovely atlanta georgia you know that's very coveted now because how's home ownership been it's been nice i feel like oh, right now. i know them crackers they they get you would you like to re-up oh yeah i'll okay. be waiting why not why not thank you um, so it's been nice. I When I first moved in, it was like in the midst of the panini. So it kind of didn't really feel like I had a home, especially since as soon as I moved in, like the first week, I had pipe issues, which I'll probably get into and talk to you guys more later on. I got my home in the fall and then I had the pipe issues, so I couldn't like use any of my downstairs. It, it was a mess. Um, so it didn't really feel like I had a home because they had to redo my floors, they had to cut in my walls, they had to drywall, they had to just everything. It didn't really feel like I had a home till the next year. And then even with that, still Panini, working from home, I was like, I don't wanna be out like that and I didn't really have many people over. It took a while for it to actually click that I had a home. And then like most recently, I think like I've just been super busy that I've really been realizing like, wow, I actually did that. So it's been nice. Um, it's been pleasant for the most part, but I do plan on giving you guys like more videos and details and showing you guys what's going on, giving you tips on when you're ready to buy and things like that. So it's been cool so far. Okay. When it's a night out, you decide to leave, you know, get ready, do something fun. What can you not leave the house without? Mm. Bare minimum, I have to have my phone. How many? I have, huh? How many phones? We're not going to do that, right? Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. I like to have my phone. What Thank that? you. Or just one phone. And I then, um, phones. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> Um, I like to have my phone, um, ID, and my credit card. I didn't stop doing it, but sometimes I like leave without without like a bag or something, put my stuff in, so I'm just like holding all my keys or whatever, but low key I can leave the house without my keys. Um, so yeah, phone, ID, credit card. Besides the essentials, anything else you're like, mm, I need this? Pretty low maintenance. Okay. 
Well, actually, you know, I heard somewhere it was like, you shouldn't call yourself low maintenance. Oh, how can I rephrase this? Um, not about be needing stuff. What about if you're going out? No errands, like you're going out. I add my lippy. Just a lipstick. Okay, that's fair. What okay. should we bring? Um, I think always, you know. You have no big ass bag. I'm a right that has three <laughs> items in. <laughs> big mommy. <laughs> You know, I'm a low-key Fenty ambassador, so you know, I always stay with Fenty lip gloss, probably some Fenty concealer, and maybe a Fenty brush. That's probably everything. And then, you know, some eye drops, because you know, Atlanta, allergies, not dryness. Hippo. Not the hippo. Always. <laughs> so, what shows have you been watching lately? Any hmm. favorites? I just finished Kaleidoscope on Netflix. That was really good. I finished that in the day. I really love Blood and Water. I finished that in the day as well. Ooh, I watched Far From Home. That was good. Abbott Elementary is always nice. I would say some oldies but goodies would be like Game of Thrones, Euphoria. But it's like, I watch those, but in the same token, I'm like right now, I want something that's like easy to watch, wholesome, not gruesome. Ooh, Snowfall is coming back. It is, I heard, I can't wait. I think it's the final season. Oh, really? I think so. That's not it, really. Oh, White Lotus. White Lotus is a favorite. Who else? Ozark. The other one is Peaky Blinders. If you guys have watched any of these shows, go ahead and leave a comment down below. But yeah, those are like the shows I like to watch. Who else? It's like a theme. It's like you like the chill stuff, but also a lot of crime stuff. I love Narcos. Yeah. Well, those are crime. Narcos, Spanish. Narcos, Snowfall, White Lotus-ish, you know? I mean, that's a little mix of both, but that has some crime elements. Suspense. Suspense. It's crazy, but I think they have like good storylines. No, 100%. 100%. But like sometimes I just, I just want something wholesome. No, I agree. That's hard to find. It is. Working moms. Mm, I finished that in like three days. You finished it? Girl, you yeah. haven't talked about it. I finished it in less than a week. Great, right? It's great. Oh, yeah. I'm going to rewatch it. Yeah, same. I watch it all. Check out Working Moms. Yeah, good stuff, good stuff. What happened? Is this next question? Do you have any current favorite podcasts you like to listen to? Mm. My favorite is I Said What I Said. Check them out. And also The Read. Those are my top two. I have a couple of public health podcasts that I listen to. One is called Better Than or something like that. I think it's from Harvard. Better Off. Better Off. And then um, sometimes I listen to the Porter House and I listen to Union Podcast, but also watch them on YouTube. Oh, and Hindsight. Hindsight is like really chill. Um, if I ever need like some affirmations or to calm down or chill out, Hindsight is good. And that's about it. I feel like I need, I don't need more, but it'll be nice to have some more podcasts to listen to. Cause I like run out of stuff to like consume. So if you guys have any recommendations for podcasts, let me know. Do you have a favorite genre? Those are a lot. I've heard of public health, maybe like a pop culture one. Anything other topics you'd like to listen to? Mm, okay. So speaking of, so it's like I have the ones that are like entertainment, trivia, pop culture. So that's like I said what I said, the read, they kind of keep me up to date. And then I try to listen sometimes to podcasts that align with some of my career objectives or things that I want to get into just so I can have like that supplemental information. But I didn't mention this, but wedding confessionals. Not that I'm wedding crazy, but the whole idea of like planning a large event and it runs successful, like that's the part I like about it. So yeah. I can see that. I can see that. Oh, there's another podcast I used to like. I don't know. I think you would have liked it. It's called Dope Labs. I don't think they make any. Did you ever listen to it? Wait, I haven't saved. I don't know if I've listened to it because I've been off my podcast game, but I haven't saved. You like it? What's it about again? I thought we probably talked about it like maybe years have, ago. Maybe that's why it's saved. Okay, yeah, it's saved. It's these two black women engineers and they just take concepts and like break them down. And like, I love listening to their podcasts, but they haven't, I don't think they've made any new ones as of late, but Dope Labs is a really good one. I love them. Alrighty. The next question is my favorite because this is why we bonded and I was like, this is going to be my best friend forever because, you know, my life is music, your life is music, it's great. Oh, so music. let us know, what's your favorite music genre? Like, what do you like to listen to? Favorite artists? There's prosciutto in my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a weighted question for me. And I've been wondering, like, is it just me or I just be wondering. But um, I would say, like, I have, like, a wide taste in music genres and it, it's not an easy question for me so i'm gonna take my time and tell y'all i wrote some of these down yeah. if you gave me one genre i would be like you a lot you like everything you like every, like it's expansive okay so i definitely like like r&b soft rock jazz i do love motown i love disco i like funk like new jack swing shout out to jenny jackson neo soul 
there's like levels to gospel that I like too. So sometimes I want like hill songs. Sometimes I have to hear like mass choir, like Hezekiah Walker, old Kirk Franklin. That kind of like when I want to like go and cry. Sometimes I gotta hear like I, I can't say this. I was gonna say Negro spirituals, but, <laughs> <laughs> but I, sometimes I need to hear it. I also like other sounds depending on it. So there's some country that I like, but I like it because I can hear the gospel roots in it. So there's that, and then like when you get international, like I love Brazilian funk. I feel like when I first caught wind of it, it was like ballet funk. I don't know if people still call it that, but like I'm a huge Stango fan. If you guys know, you know. I also like the sound of like kizomba and kumpa. Then aside from that, did I say rumba? No. Okay, I like rumba too. Certain Latin rumbas, they remind me of like traditional Nigerian like secret society music. So I like that. But I also like High Life, shout out to Ghana, because that's where it originated. I think some people don't know that. They think it's Nigerian, but it originated in Ghana. Also like Afro beat and Afro beats. There's a difference. Who else? I love reggae. I'm a, I'm a, <laughs> I'm a piano. Um, if you guys watch my travel destination wish list, you guys know how I feel about South Africa and house music. Who else? I do like drill. What was the other one? It was like, it was like UK artists. It was like chipmunk. It was like grind. I also like folk and traditional songs. So like there's sometimes when I would like go down like a loop of like different countries like music. I also like lo-fi and alte. Like sometimes I feel like my music is a little bit too mellow and I need something to like pick me up, but I do like that sound, like vibey music. Okay, now these other ones, I don't really know the genre, but I do like some of the vocal techniques and instruments in like Arabic music and Indian music. I don't think this is the genre of music. It's a classical traditional Indian dance and it starts like with like B-H-A, I don't remember how to pronounce it, but it's something about it that I love. It's very like staccato and rhythmic and like the dancers, they wear like these bells around their ankles, which kind of like reminds me of my own culture. Like some of our dances, we also have bells or shells around our ankles, but it's something about it that I like, I just love seeing and hearing it. So sometimes it's like, I like music. I'm not like fused in with the dances that relate to it. Cause I might not be able to tell you what the music is. There's so many more. So like, it's very rare that I find people that like a handful of what I like as well. So <laughs> it's a lot. What's the best concert you've been to? I feel like I haven't been to too many concerts. So what's the best one you went to? Including festivals. Including festivals. I would say the last concert that I've been to was the Burna Boy concert. Mm -hmm. And that was nice because I like our own like personal suite and it was food, so many drinks, and it was like all unlimited. So I had the time of my life at Burna Boy, even though it was like far from the stage so we could barely see, but like it was still like a nice vibe. But concerts. I can't think of any concerts really that stand out. Okay, no, okay, if I go way, way back, way, way, way back, when I saw Ari Lennox, when Shea Butter Baby came out, that was a vibe. And then Masego was also at, what, where was that, Underground? Masquerade? Yeah, no, that's the mas Masquerade, yeah. Or Tabernacle. That? No, Masquerade, Masquerade. Yeah, I haven't been to Tabernacle. Masquerade. So yeah, I would say we gonna take all the way back, Ari Lennox and Masego was some of my favorite. Now, if I had, if I just had my way this year, I would love to see Smino. I would love to see Anita Baker. Anita Baker is gonna be here on Valentine's Day, so I already know I can't afford her. Um, I do want to see Janet, and I also want to see Beyonce. So I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna see any of them. If I was able to just like go to any concert I wanted to this year, those would be the main ones I want to go to go for. That was my next question. So thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um. So how would you describe? Nice. <laughs> you have them. <laughs> I'll be making that How would you describe your fashion sense? I have a side that I love that's like super vintage and timeless. And I have like an athleisure, like street urban style. And I also have a style that's like more statement pieces, like in your face. Like if it's like an all sparkling number, like I, I do like that. Another show I forgot to mention is P Valley. I think P Valley is coming back. You haven't watched P Valley. I haven't. You didn't like it though. I hated it. <laughs> Now one of them people were from the South and it sounded like it. I think two of them were. Mercedes and somebody else, I can't remember. The accents, I couldn't what get over that. Atlanta? I, or Memphis, she sounded oh, like Memphis. she's from Memphis. Mm -hmm. well, somebody else was, but everyone else. Why won't they let me strip at the P? At the, at the P? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you sound like that? <laughs> <laughs> what was the place called? The Bat Down in the valley, what a girl. That was the strip club call. If it, 
The pink. It's called the the pink. There you go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next question. Oh, you What's your favorite food item? I don't know. <laughs> I like the charcuterie. <laughs> Um, or what's your type of food that you like to eat? I love Caribbean food, but I think I should just say Jamaican food. I haven't really had too many others. I had like Jamaican and Cuban food, mm -hmm. but I haven't had like Trini or somewhere else. Okay. Oh, you know what I was thinking about? Okay, a couple weeks ago we made like lasagna from scratch. I don't have any video of it, but like we was in here. Well, she was in here doing intensive servitude. Um, <laughs> not veteran <laughs> servitude. <laughs> intensive. So, um, I think like with Italian food, I think what it is, okay, this is my hypothesis in my head. I feel like tomato-based Italian food is good, but like the other stuff, like traditional Italian food is very bland. I will say like I'm obsessed with Italian food and like I would love to go to Italy. And oh, hell yeah. I'm obsessed. Hell like, yeah. But I will say like I have been to a lot of Italian restaurants in Atlanta and I'm like, I can do that better and I will do it better, That's the thing. and I have done it better. I haven't been to like good Italian restaurants here. Yeah, but I have, and I'm still like, I, I can just go home and make this better. Like their lemon butters and stuff, like. Even their red sauces, bro. Really? Yeah. Like I told you, I went to like one of these restaurants, I was like, oh, I have made a, ra a lamb ragu better than this. In my pasta, I make it taste better than this. Um, so it's have, a little disappointing, it's Italian. a little disappointing. So I'm still looking for an Italian restaurant that's like better than what I can make. And I'm not Italian, so that shouldn't be hard to beat. Mm. Yeah. I would say too, like um, my comfort food is Mexican. I like Mexican food. But the thing, I've been seeing more people talk about burrito tacos again. Anytime I've tried burrito tacos, they've been terrible. I haven't had a good burrito taco. I kind of gave up. But also I don't even think that's like traditional. It like literally came up overnight one night. Is it a traditional food? I just went to Mexico. I can't say I saw it on one menu. I didn't see that one burrito in Not Mexico. One menu. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I guess um, Caribbean, Cuban, Brazilian, Mexican. Some Nigerian food. Do you like moi moi? I love it. Mm, I don't like moi moi. Oh, interesting. Why? Texture or taste? I don't know. I don't like it. Mm. And it's like one of those. Do you have it as an adult? Yeah. Okay. It's one of those things where like, like you said, sometimes you don't like something, like come back to it years later. And I've come back to Moimo, I don't like one way. Oh. But I like black eyed peas. I'm not crazy about Akara, but I didn't grow up eating Akara. We're having an event and the Moimo, like I think it wasn't coming. And so I was like, oh, it's fine. Like when I see you, it's fire on the mountain. People are like, what is the Moimo? Like people were like freaking out because there's no Moimo. Good stuff. Like baked and boiled, I don't like it. But I like black eyed peas. Interesting. I, I think that's my, my um controversial Nigerian, Nigerian thing. Take. And it's like, I've had it in like different styles. Yeah, if it has fish in it, it's a no for me. It's a no for me. Sardine? Yeah, it's an always, it's a no for me. <laughs> always, <laughs> always, <laughs> always, <laughs> always. <laughs> Sweet or savory? Savory. Okay. So for breakfast, you're going out to eat, you're just like, let me order the blah, blah, blah. What is it? It depends on my mood. Or like, what do I usually go go for for brunch? For brunch, yeah. Um, I do like trying shrimp and grits, but I realize I only like Cajun style shrimp and grits. So I guess Cajun food. I like Cajun. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's the last question. Um, favorite ice cream. Oh, okay. So it used to be Brambleberry by Jenny. I think I ate it too much, and it's overpriced, but it used to be Brambleberry. Then I was on my Hog and Dogs kick for um. Dos de, dos liche or something like that. Dos de leche? Yeah, I'm lactose intolerant. You <laughs> <laughs> <I> like that? <laughs> um, so I'm kind of like, oh, <laughs> I haven't had ice cream in a while. I haven't been in the mood for it, but like the last time I was um, hogging dogs crazy. I think it's also because like. Sometimes I'll buy tubs and the ice cream would be kind of icy, like they left it out and it kind of like melted and then they refroze it so it's like not as creamy. So, um, mm-hmm. For the culture, how do you feel about butter pecan ice cream? <laughs> See, I almost said when it was first on my mind, <laughs> I don't want to end this um, journey that I'm on before it even starts. It's giving Jim Crow. Oh. <laughs> Segregation? Segregation. Oh, okay. Separate but equal. Haters gonna hate, but a pecan is, you know, it's the whole this down. It's a I great flavor. I, I liked it when I was younger. Love it. But I'm also allergic to pecans now. So. Okay, that might be why then. I love when I sweet and salty, you know? 
It's perfect. So what do you think are some common misconceptions about you? Um, I think common misconceptions get about myself. Um, I've had several people say, I thought you were rich. I thought you were spoiled. I had someone say, I thought you had a sugar daddy. I don't know where that came from. I guess it must be nice. I don't, I don't know. I can't relate to those feelings. Um, but I also realized like a lot of my travels that I have done have been either through like family events. So it's like a funeral, wedding, holiday, Easter, something like that. Or it's been like through studying abroad. So what I later on realized is that I think people thought like I was paying for those things out of my pocket. No, I've, I've gotten that misconception that people think I'm like bougie or super rich or spoiled or had a silver spoon. And it used to get on my nerves, but now I'm just like, I claim it. I'll be rich in Jesus' name. Amen. I claim my riches. Oh yeah, and I think the other thing too, and I feel like, I feel like a lot of black women can relate. Depending on the hairstyle you have, people sometimes approach you differently as well. So like the times that like I'm out and about, like if I have like blonde hair or like ginger color hair, like the approaches are very different. And it's like, um, I think especially with blonde hair, like people think, or they assume that I'm gonna be like super vapid or just like surface level or like an airhead. They think you stupid. But no, that's not the case. People think I'm rich, spoiled, bougie, mean. I do have RBS. And then I also think people are like not comfortable with silence. A lot of people are not. So it's like, if you're quiet, people don't know how to handle like that. And they just, yeah, run with it. That's fair, that's fair. Um, so how would people that know you or your friends describe you? How would you describe me, friend? I think, you know, when we open up Webster's Dictionary and we go to the C-section and look up confidence, it says beauty on the glow right there. I thought you were talking about C-sections. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it did say C-section. <laughs> Let me say it again. When we open up Webster's Dictionary and we go to um, the letter C, we see beauty on the glow there under confidence, right? I think that's how you are and that's how I describe people to you. I'm like, if I could just, you know, touch the hem of her garment and just take a little bit of the confidence, you know, I would be okay. Really? Yeah, I think you're a very confident person. I think like you are really smart. I think you're a very well-rounded person. I think you are very um, strong with the academics, but you also are like my stylish person where um, I like to sneak into your home and steal items so I can wear. <laughs> I think that is, you know, love to have that side of you. But then you're also like, you know, my in-house therapist person. You're great to talk to. I think you Aww. really understand how to relate to other people and you're just a really great friend. So that's how I describe you. But you know, we've been going on this for over 10 years. So I have a lot of good things to say. You want something? Your closet. <laughs> This is a great way to end up the video, but clearly we're not serious people. So. <laughs> oh, thank you, friend. Yeah. How would you? How do you think people describe you? Your friends? I haven't thought through this question. Um, I don't know. Lighthearted in a way. <clears throat> Maybe endearing, creative. I don't know. I'll I'll let you say it. There you go. I'm glad. I hope you actually know that. Mm -hmm. I guess that's it, right? That is all the questions that Ooh. we have. I mean, it's a new year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Is there like any goals or plans or things you're expecting for this new year that you hope you get? I have some stuff in the works and I'm hoping um, come to fruition this year. I guess how oh, I have some... I'm just showing the food. I understand. Food. I didn't pick like very gummy things that like disintegrate. So... Oh, <laughs> Um, so I have some things that are kind of like in the works that I hope come to fruition this year. One of my goals is to learn how to swim. I also want to get to the point where like I'm posting more regularly or more consistently. So I have to think through some more, but that's, that's what I have in mind. What about you? You haven't thought those through yet? Yeah, I don't know if I have a concrete list like you. I think I've... you are named three things. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's more thought than I've put it into. Um, you know, I think my mission in life is just to be happy and enjoy life. So I think like just be more intentional with that. Um, I said every month I kind of want to take myself on a date type of thing, whether it's going out to a restaurant, doing an activity I always wanted to do and just really enjoying life to the max. So, um, I'm like blessed to have like a good amount of friends, i.e. you, to like go places with me. But I'm like, I can also, you know, try mm -hmm. to enjoy things by myself and figure that out. Um, so I think that's 
my biggest goal is just, you know, it's always to enjoy life. So learning how to maximize that. Go to shop life? Yeah, why not? You know? Mm-hmm, exactly. You gotta enjoy the time while you're here. This is the youngest we'll ever be. That is very depressing, but you're right. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I think about it, last year what I was really focusing on was like being more proactive and more disciplined. And in many ways that worked out for me and that's something I want to continue this year. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. And you guys will be along on the ride with me. So with that said, thank you so much to my best best friend for being our moderator. <laughs> for being our moderator and making our lovely drinks. This video gave you guys a little bit more insight into my personality and things to expect from me throughout the year. Thank you so much for the support. I hope you guys continue rocking with me throughout this year. I can't wait to see what our community becomes. But until next time, bye guys. Woohoo! <laughs>